got to go. Hello, I'm Kelly, this is Emily, and today we're discussing allergies and sensitiz sensitization in particular. Exactly, yeah, so um, uh, we're going to do a multi-part series on allergies. It's uh, a lot more complicated than people think it is, that's for sure. Um, so the first part I'm going to go over is sensitization because it really is the first step of allergies. So to start with something else um, would make absolutely no sense, unfortunately. So um, sensitization with regards to allergies um, is, it's unfortunate because that really is the thing that makes it that it's an overreaction of our immune system. Oh, okay. Without the components that make us have allergies, we wouldn't have an immune system. So oh, we can't just yeah. get rid of them, unfortunately. I never really thought of it in that form. Yeah, for sure, which is the, the grand overview of it is it happens when our body produces something called IgEs and it attaches to something called basophils or mast cells. Now, the basophils are something that um, circulates throughout our, um, our circulatory mm -hmm. system, yeah. so our blood system, and mast cells are in tissues. So um, generally, the, they're concentrated in tissues where we would encounter an external antigen. And in this, yeah, so in mucous membranes in your nose, in yeah. mucous membranes in your, lungs. Um, in your lungs, in your bronchial tissues, blah, Skin. blah, blah. Um, yeah, they're in your upper cutaneous layer. They're okay. very high concentration there, which is the, you know, outermost part of your skin, mm -hmm. basically. Um, it's, you know, where tattoos get further than, basically, so oh, okay. they can actually stay in your skin, yeah, yeah. right? Um, so that's the basics of that. Um, and again, I'm sure that overview made no sense, but it is a good overview. I promise. I promise. Anyway, so um, basically the idea is, and I've got my lovely little drawing here. I hope that people can see it. Um, okay. We might have to superimpose it, but that's okay. So this is the allergen, in case mm -hmm. you couldn't tell. This little squiggly kind of star thing is the allergen that comes in. So that could be cat dander. Imagine it like a dandelion fluff. Exactly. It's some sort of little allergen, androgen, whatever, right? So mm -hmm. this comes in. Okay, and this is an antigen produce sorry, antigen presenting cell. Yeah. So an antigen pres presenting cell is something that presents the antigen. And I know that that's really obvious, but it actually is less obvious than you would think when you get really further far yeah. into it. So an example of this is a macrophage or a dendritic cell. Um, there are a couple other mm -hmm. examples of things that do this as well in your body. Okay. So, so, it, so it just eats it up like Pac-Man and it presents does. it. Exactly. So what it does is it encounters the allergen and it's like, you're foreign. It's very racist. Not so good. So it's like, you're foreign, you're a foreign body, and I'm gonna eat you like Pac-Man. So it eats it like Pac-Man, okay? So this is it eating it like Pac-Man. <laughs> um, nom nom And I hope it's delicious. And then it goes through a bunch of processes within the antigen presenting cell, okay? So this guy eats it like Pac-Man, it goes through a bunch of processes. Again, that's way too much to get into at this point, but it basically goes through a bunch of processes so that it can turn it into something that yeah. it can present to the world, okay? Mm -hmm. So this triangle is what the macrophage is presenting to the world, okay? So hopefully that makes sense so far. So there's Does that a, make sense so yeah, far? Yeah, so there's a bunch of kind of transmutations as it goes along. Mm -hmm. A bunch of chemical reactions and... Yeah, within the body of this antigen presenting cell, okay? Yeah. okay. So the next step is it uh, figuring it out uh, computers <laughs> i'm so smart she's such a luddite i really am yeah well, science i'm transforming her science is my game not so much computers anyway so um this guy okay so this is our macrophage with mm -hmm. our little triangle guy on the outside of it okay so this is our happy little B lymphocyte. B lymphocytes and T lymphocytes are central to our acquired immunity. And acquired immunity is what happens when you have been previously exposed to something. Yeah. So in the natural world, mm -hmm. right? It'll be like, hey, you've already been previously exposed to the plague, for yeah. example. And therefore, the second time you come across the exact same... It's prepared same, to fight it. Yeah, it has these 
antibodies yeah. that make it so that it's way easier. So that's why oh, sometimes okay. when you get that's like easy. the second time you get something, if it hasn't mutated in the middle, and that's a whole different story. But yeah. if you get the same um, antigen twice, or if you get the yeah, if you get the same yeah. allergen or the antigen twice with regular immunity, not with allergies, then you'll be able to fight it mm -hmm. and you'll actually won't get as many symptoms from it. And that's the exact basis that vaccines are based on. Yeah. This B lymphocyte is integral to our acquired immunity. So we can't get rid of these things. Yeah, yeah. We can't just be like, we don't want allergies anymore. We're going to get rid of these things. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this happy little B lymphocyte here, <laughs> he's checking out this triangle, right? So he's going to check out, hey, check it out, triangle man. So he checks out the triangle and he takes the information from this triangle here that the macrophage yep. is presenting and processes that into something we call an antibody, mm -hmm. okay? And the specific antibodies that are processed because of an allergen are called IgEs, yep. okay? So remember that, IgEs. So the IgEs are produced in the B lymphocyte mm -hmm. and the B lymphocyte changes into a plasma cell, which I'm sure you can't see very well there. I have terrible writing as well. This is why I'm not a teacher. I apologize for that in advance. So the plasma cell, it's almost like a road just changing its name, right? Like you're going along a road and it's like, it's center straight now and now it's fourth. Like it just changes. Yeah. It's fine. So it's that's right. that's going from here to here or like here to here. That's from going, going from here to here. Yeah, okay. So it gets produced in the B lymphocyte yeah. and it gets barfed out by the plasma cell mm -hmm. and they're the same cell okay okay so it changes that confused me a little yes yeah they're the same cell okay so it changes so because from... because they have the programming from here it changes the name sort yeah I, i'm not sure what changes okay. it there's it's really complicated okay. what changes Fair it but enough. just believe me the b lymphocytes change into a plasma cell yeah. and the plasma cell is what we call a antibody secreting so, okay. okay, so the secreting is basically like right before test day, right? Right before exams. I know a lot of our friends are going through final exams at university right now. Um, I know that when I went to university, it was very much <laughs> bleh, bleh, <laughs> like, like <laughs> cram that shit in there and barf it on a page and then cram it in there again uh, and barf it on a page. Like that was that what it was like. That is the best description of the school system. It is. And it's, it's problems. <laughs> It's true. I mean, some of it stuck, obviously, but it's not like all of it sticks forever. So it's, it is, you're just throwing it up on the page. So these guys crammed for their test and they're throwing it up onto the page right now. Mm -hmm. That's what's happening. So these plasma cells are pu putting out IgEs. Got it? Okay. <laughs> Next step is the IgEs, eh, IgE right there, the IgE <laughs> floats around in the circulatory system. So what that does is it makes it so that when we're exposed to an allergen, our body makes IgEs, not always, but it does sometimes, okay? And this is how sensitization works. The IgEs float around our circulatory system and depending on the concentration of the IgEs, and how much of an affinity mm -hmm. they have for actually going into the ports on the outside of allergen cells, they will attach to the mast cell and, or the basophils oh, or not, okay? okay? Um, so what the deal is, is this part of the IgE, that part right there, mm -hmm. is designed by the B lymphocyte to attach to the outside of, a, yeah. of this reactionary cell here. Okay? So, so the the severity of um, of allergens is dependent on the sensitivity of this and the presentation of this both. Exactly. Oh, yeah, okay. and, and amongst thousands yeah, yeah. of other factors, and this is way overcomplicating it. I get that, but I'm real or if not oversimplifying it, I should say. But the opposite of that. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. And then this part of the IgE. Okay, mm -hmm. so this part right here is the part that will actually attach chemically to the antigen next time it comes into the body. Oh, okay. Okay, and so this part right here of the bottom part of the IgE will attach to something called a mast cell. Yeah. 
or a basophil. But I'm just gonna talk about the mast cells right now because mm -hmm. it makes it easier. I don't wanna keep going back and forth, okay? So the mast cell, mast cells again are in our tissues, mm -hmm. right? So they will have certain IgEs attached to receptor sites on the outside of their cell body, okay? And then the other parts of this, this Y section, which Again, it's not really shaped like that necessarily. It's just how we like to represent it in the science world. That's mm -hmm. just, it's the general way that we do it. So these guys create bridges so that next time the antigen comes in, it will attach to these, okay? Oh, so, so then, it, then it's a direct thing. It doesn't have to go through all that chemical process. That's right, yeah. So oh, all of these chemical okay. processes are what creates the sensitivity. the sensitivity okay you're getting that and then in the future it's much simpler reaction of the allergen directly onto the ige onto the mast cell right correct okay so the ige is already on the mast cell okay but yeah it's a much simpler reaction it doesn't have to go through all the transformation That's right. yeah okay. we're not creating IGEs every time necessarily oh, okay. but there are a lot of like there's actually signals within our allergic reactions that tell our B lymphocytes to create more IgEs. Yeah. So that's why people's aller allergic reactions get worse and worse and worse and yeah. worse and worse. A lot of the time, because the more we have them, the more IgEs we produce, the more IgEs are actually present, present in the blood, yeah. the more affinity they have for these outside receptors on the mast cells. Are we getting this? I hope we are. So, so, so the only way of minimizing your allergicness to something is to stay away from it. Not necessarily. Oh, okay. I mean, that's, Again, these are the things I don't have the answers oh, okay. to. This is the basic way that it works Chemical within allergy, our body. Yeah. It's so complicated. I mean, probably mm -hmm. even the top allergists. I mean, there's lots of theories of like, you know, if you expose kids to peanuts really early, then they're not gonna have an allergy to peanuts because there's been a lot of people who have mm -hmm. avoided exposing kids to peanuts and yeah, yeah. they have really bad, like there's way more allergies now, but it's, who knows what that's from, yeah, right? I mean, a, there's so many theories. There was an interesting study comparing Hutterite culture to Amish culture. So in Amish culture, they have a lot fewer allergies than in Hutterite culture. Interesting, are they less and, clean? Yes, it's because of that, but it's a specific type of clean. Like in Hutterite colonies, wherever we go, there's always cement, there's always walkways, the, all the kitchens, all the houses are cleaned with bleach, like they're pretty So aimed. much bleach. Yeah. They're so good with cleaning all the Hutterite women. And in the Amish culture, there's a lot more dirt roads and so on, and the, the cow dung being thrown up yeah. is actually really good at creating um, allergy adverse people. Right. Because exactly. there's specific things in the cow dung that are good, and Hutterites are too clean, that's why there's a higher rate in Hutterites compared to Amish. Right, so I mean, how does that work within, you know, the actual science of how the cells work, etc.? I, I don't know, I grew up with cats, I'm not allergic to cats, mm -hmm. he didn't grow up with cats, and he's super allergic to cats, so... And dogs, and I, feathers, and dust. And everything, right? Yeah. So I mean, it, it depends on the person, there's so many factors, so... Again, I'm not answering all these million dollar questions that say, you know, why am I allergic to this thing, why? Yeah. But this is how it chemically and biologically works in your body. So yeah. that sensitization, um, I hope you had an informative time with us. <laughs> and um, I think that's everything. Awesome. Thanks awesome. for watching. And we'll see you on part number two, yes. where we discuss. Uh, we're gonna discuss um, the actual uh, allergic reactions. So when you get re-exposed, to the antigen, so when this comes in again, when this guy comes in again, it messes mm -hmm. up things. Um, and we're gonna talk about um, histamine specifically, okay. okay? So, and histamine receptors. Awesome. So, there's lots of fun stuff. Thank you for watching. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>